Well, the New Orleans Pelicans removed most of Anthony Davis out of the hype videos and posters and banners around the, around the arena. Let's talk about it. We back. Good fellow sports TV. I appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we on Facebook, Twitter, and also you can reach out to me in the email if you need be for a video request or question a business inquiry or sponsorship. And um, let's talk about it, man. And I'll link an article in the description proving this story to be factual. And um, New Orleans is petty. They mad because Anthony Davis want to get out of there and they couldn't put a winner around him. That's on them. Don't nobody want to be stuck in New Orleans 25 years old and you possibly a top five talent skill for skill. And people, you know, question how good you are because the team ain't winning. And it's not all about you. It's about the person that's been put around the team. Maybe the coach, you know, the coach. And Alvin Gentry said he paid no attention to the pregame hype video and don't even know who's on there and basically acting like he didn't know what the hell was going to happen. He'd been, he'd be sitting in the room with, 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 uh, what's his name? With Demps, the GM and, and the owner, all of them. They meet probably on a day to day basis, man, almost. And he already knew what was going to happen for this. They mad. He claimed that Anthony Davis wasn't going nowhere and he gone. And part of the reason Anthony Davis is leaving is Alvin Gentry. Alvin Gentry was a shit coach when he was in Detroit. He pretty much got another head coaching job. And I hate to shit on him, brother, but he pretty much got another head coaching job because he was with the Golden State Warriors. He was on the Golden State Warriors coaching staff. He adopted that that style of get up and down the floor and shoot threes. And pretty much schematically, he the reason they don't win. He should have been making Anthony Davis play on the block and then extend his range out during the game when double teams came on the block. They should have been playing through Anthony Davis in the, the high post from the elbow, from the from the low post, from the low post. Excuse me, and they should have been abusing any opponent that was on him and getting a bucket every time. When they brought the double team, swing it out, and then they should have shot the three pointer, or they should have had people cutting, doing back doors, and him uh, facilitating. That's the reason they're losing. They're not schematically playing the right way. He got the talent. I mean, Drew Holiday, Alfred Payton, when he healthy, uh, Miritich, Julius Randle. I mean, uh, each one more can shoot it. They got the talent to to be better than what they are, and they showed that last year in the playoffs with the Portland Trailblazers. He got one of the best players in the league, and you're not even making it to the playoffs or the second round of playoffs consistently is because of the coaching. You know what I'm saying? Also, the general manager got to do a better job identifying talent, but he's put a good talent team around, a talented team around Anthony Davis and his own Alvin Gentry. Alvin Gentry just suck as a coach. Call it what it is. You got to make that that boy play on the block and play inside, outside with that team. Him and Drew Holiday should be one of the, the biggest one-two punches in the NBA because of Anthony Davis and Drew Holiday natural talent, but mostly because of Anthony Davis. You know, I watched them play the Boston Celtics in Boston this season. Obviously, they play in the Western Conference. So they played Celtics in Boston one time. And the second team of the Boston Celtics beat the first team of them. And that shouldn't happen. You know, but if New Orleans want to be petty about removing his stuff and stuff, if I'm Anthony Davis, I'm injured for the season. I'm not coming back to you guys move me in the offseason. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to see what type of petty and what type of uh, vicious attitude Anthony Davis got. Because obviously he's a real quiet guy and he's real humble. But right now, sound like LeBron team, Rich Porter, Rich Paul, excuse me, Rich Porter, shout out to Harlem. But Rich Paul um, is getting in his ear and pretty much says it's time to demand a trade. They should have been did this, man. You know, he shouldn't have prolonged this. No longer. He should have done this around, you know, December. But he probably wanted to wait and see what the team was going to be like and try to make it look good. He did it a week or two before the trade deadline was the wrong time. And apparently it would lead you to believe that the New Orleans Pelicans would be about to move him by removing him from the interface and videos and posters and stuff around the arena. But they can just do that to be petty. Apparently, Greg Popovich told uh, Dems, the general manager from the New Orleans, from New Orleans Pelicans, that don't pick up the phone. Don't trade him to the Lakers. The same thing. Popovich didn't want to trade Kawhi Leonard to the Lakers or trade him to in, to, in L.A. And Kawhi Leonard is still going to fuck around, excuse my language, and still go to the Los Angeles Clippers. He just bought a $13 million home in L.A. He's leaving Toronto Raptors, you know. So teams not going to even get the opportunity to see what Kawhi Leonard going to do, you know, if they trade for Anthony Davis at the trade deadline. But if the offseason roll around, and Kawhi Leonard lead Toronto, even if they make the NBA championship or win one, whatever, he just want to get to L.A. that bad and go back to the crib, people are not going to trade for Anthony Davis. It's going to be the Lakers or they just going to wait until the trade deadline and trade him to the Lakers. They're going to just let him walk. You know what I'm saying? And if New Orleans want to be petty enough to let him walk, they can let him walk. But the, the, the owner already said she would trade Anthony Davis. He wanted to get out of here. And then part of it is the ownership. And I'm telling you, the coaching sucks. The general, manage, the general man, the management front office and ownership suck. That lady don't know what she's doing. 
Okay, the, the, the daddy didn't. I mean, the, the husband didn't know what he was doing. He ain't know shit about a, 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 a team, an NBA team. He's a football guy. He probably wasn't even a football guy. He just so happened to hire Sean Payton and got lucky. Okay, so Anthony Davis, he yeah, do what you gonna do. Get the hell up out of there, man. You got two, a season and a half left. They want to hold on to you for a season and a half. I play it out, and then I walk away, and they don't get nothing from me. If they really want to let me walk and not get nothing from me, but I'm making it clear. If they want to find me another 50K for speaking my mind, I speak my mind. 50K ain't shit. You want to find me 100K, it is what it is, okay? I'm telling you, I'm not signing to no other team but the Los Angeles Lakers. You guys can trade for me, I'm going to walk. But I'm telling you, it ain't going to get real until they see Kawhi Leonard walk. Watch. When Kawhi Leonard do all the success with Toronto, he still walks to the L.A. Clippers, then people are not going to risk their assets for Anthony Davis. I'm still walking. No matter. I want to play in L.A. And that's the LeBron effect. LeBron has really made this into a player's league and showed the players that they actually have just as much power or more power than they thought they would. Than, and then what the owners thought they did. You know, but they want to be petty and remove my shit. Well, I can be petty too. And I fake an injury. I won't play for the rest of the season. Period. You know, you're going to move me in the offseason. You want to hold on to me. I don't care what the franchise, uh, all 10 of the New Orleans Pelican fans care. I don't care if I come out to the Pelicans and all 10 of them boo me. You know, this is my career. I stay here long enough. I read up here. We couldn't win. Don't boo me. Boo, uh, boo Demps. Uh, boo Gail uh, Benson, the owner. Boo Alvin Gentry because he sucks as a head coach. Nobody talk about that. Alvin Gentry just suck, suck as a head coach. That's the re reason Anthony Davis can't win because they don't know how to put a proper team and proper offense in for him to, to be a winner. Alvin Gentry don't coach no defense neither. I remember he was in Detroit. I'm a Piston fan. He was garbage here. And just because he, he was able to to rub shoulders with Steve Kerr and, and the Warriors, he get a job. Same thing with Luke Warden. Oh, Luke Warden did an excellent job with the Golden State Warriors. That team can run itself. Put that team on autopilot, and he still probably win the championship. You know, but if I'm if I'm Anthony Davis, I want to be this petty, you know, because I want out of here, and any any sane person who want out of New Orleans, you know, right now with the Pelicans, and y'all fought me for, 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 I gave you all I, I had for the last seven, whatever years it was since I got here. I didn't grunt. I didn't. I didn't groan. I didn't complain. I came here, did my job. I didn't. I didn't hold y'all hostage. I didn't say I was gonna sign with y'all. I signed the extension. I stayed here. I was committed. And the minute that I want to leave here because I can't win here, and I want to. I want to spend the rest of my prime years trying to win the championship. Y'all want to just turn y'all back, get mad, cry, gripe, and groan. No, how about you guys look at what y'all guys did? I tried to make it work here. I couldn't rise above the piss poor management, the piss poor ownership, and the piss poor uh, coaching. Okay, you want me to sit here, be miserable, be 33 years old. Y'all want to apologize. Well, I couldn't put a championship around around me. You want me to be retired and be in the same the same uh, vein as Charles Barkley and them. You want me to sit here and what, what if should have. No, let me do it while I'm young. I'm 20 some years old, 25, 26 years old. Let me go. Go see what I can do while I'm young. Let me go to L.A. You can't get mad because you want to go to L.A. And, you know, Dan Gilbert, Mark Cuban, like they did before with the whole New Orleans, uh, uh, Chris Paul thing cried because Chris Paul went to L.A. And that's why the NBA rescinded that trade because they had ownership over, over the Pelicans. They cried. Oh, no, he can't do this and that and this and that. Don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Davis going to the Lakers regardless, regardless like it or not. Kawhi Leonard going to the Clippers like it or not. And that, and David Stern he he blasted Demps, you know, the gym from the Pelicans, saying he was the reason why Anthony Davis is going to leave, okay, because he couldn't put a winner around him. And the only reason I fought Demps is because he put a lame duck coach behind him and Alvin Gentry. He sucks. But if they want to disrespect Anthony Davis and rip his name down before he leave and before they trade him and do all this, and they want to pretty much make him suffer until the next trade day in line, if I'm Anthony Davis, man, I would never come back for a statue, for a jersey hanging. I would never fuck with that franchise. Even if the Lakers went to go play them, I wouldn't even show up. Okay? After all the years I gave them blood, sweat, and tears off the muscle, I gave everything I got, and they could put a winner. They gonna blame me for this shit, please. But y'all know what it is, man. Good fella sports TV. I appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget to check out our NBA one on one live show. You can check out the playlist. Also, if you want to hip hop, we did one show of that, and we'll be recording one more show for the both of those this week. So, if you want more of that type of content, live streams, just make sure you always watch it, share it. But don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter. Also, you can reach out to the email. Appreciate everybody. You want to make a donation to the channel? That link's always in the description. And uh, also, you can just do me one better and just share share the videos. Salute to all the brothers and sisters that support the NBA videos. We also got an NBA playlist with all our videos in it. So make sure you check it out. And check out all the playlists. I'm pretty sure it's something that you're going to like as well. But Goodfellow Sports TV, your boy CJ Goodfellow. Y'all know what it is.
we are gone.